and welcome to another episode of Motors for the Masses. Now this week we're reviewing this, the 2006 Audi, not A4, S4, 4.2 V8. If this wasn't a convertible it's still compulsory to drive it with the window down because with that thumping v8 you've got pumping away under the bonnet there the sound is just beautiful listen <laughs> yes please now even though this is uh, a german built car being 2006 you can tell it's not as modern as the more modern cars, shall we say. It's um, It's got that 2006 feel about it. It's like the, um, the crossover between old interior and, oh, it's got this, oh, it's got that kind of interior. I don't know if you know what I mean, but it's like, um, it's okay, you know? It's not anything special. You haven't got loads of little gadgets everywhere. It's just quite a nice place to be. You have got a cup holder in the middle, but it's one of those that doesn't come out with refinement. It's like, burr, burr, stick your cup in there, kind of thing. The um, cubby hole is like, oh, we're open, stick stuff in, close it. It's not like, oh, I'm opening, and there I am. I'm open, pretty much you like, nice and gently. It's all sort of open. Something which I do find really annoying is this centre console. One, because it's a bit cheap and plasticky. But two, that to effectively use the handbrake, you've got to move it out of the way. So you either have handbrake or armrest. You can't really have both because it's a bit sort of awkward. Other than that, it is a very sporty car. It's comfortable, you sit in it, you feel as though you are planted well on the road. The steering is fantastic, it's really precise, it's really there. You know, there's none of that wooliness. It's really sharp. The gear change is beautiful. Six speed manual transmission, and it's lovely. The clutch is very smooth, there's no notches. It just glides beautifully in and out of gear. And it always feels ready, you know? You touch the accelerator, now I'm in sixth gear doing 30 miles an hour. Touch the accelerator, it picks up. It doesn't shoot off, but it picks up. Now if I was to put that down into fourth, still doing 30 miles an hour, you can feel it pick up. Now, if I was to go down to second in 30 miles an hour, it shoots off. So we're just going to do a little experiment. Now, we're in second gear going round a roundabout, doing 20 miles an hour. Pull onto this dual carriageway and 60, 70, and stop. Now, although it's a V8, doesn't really feel as fast as you expect it to be. Now, my Mustang is a V8, 4.6 litre V8, no turbos, no four wheel drive, and that feels a hell of a lot faster. The difference is, this gets there smoothly, it's not it's you can feel it's much smoother. Very nice. The only problem is because it's on very low profile tyres, it feels a bit jolty on the road, as you can probably notice on the camera here. 
Squeezed into this tiny little engine bay is this massive 4.2 litre Audi V8 engine. Now this develops 339 brake horsepower but only 302 pounds foot of torque. It is four wheel drive being a quattro so it does propel you quite smoothly and pretty quickly. However, the top speed is a limited 155 miles per hour with a 0 to 60 time of 5.9 seconds. Being the convertible means it's got a soft top. However, even though it is 2006, it is still electric. Which means when you push the button in the middle console, it goes down. Eventually. So let's see how long it takes, if it's raining, to get the roof up. Stopwatch ready. That's five seconds. Ten. I'm getting wet. Fifteen. Still getting wet. Twenty-five. I'm getting dry. Exactly thirty. So it seems thirty seconds is what they all take these days. Now you can see what I meant before about it being not old but not ultra modern. Everything is pretty much standard. Aircon, climate control, your entertainment system, which is actually Audi, but it looks a little bit aftermarket. The steering wheel is round. You know, what more can you say? It's a steering wheel. It doesn't have all the loads of functions that uh, modern steering wheels have, but you still can control some of the things on the screen and your volume up and down. Gear lever, six speed. And there's not much to say about this at all. It's just a pretty standard German engineered car. Now the seats are not adjustable, as in um, electronically adjustable, but they are comfortable. You've got the lumbar supports and the bolster supports and when you move around you can feel as though maybe it's a little bit slidey because they are very smooth leather. But you are seated well in the car and it's not really going to throw you out the door is it? this episode of Motors for the Masses, it just goes to show that even though these cars were £50,000 new, 10 years on, it's only going to cost you just over £9,500. Now, £9,500 for a 340 brake horsepower, four-wheel drive, thumping V8. You can't go far wrong with that. So please join us next time when we'll be back with this, the Nissan 350Z, and Will you be having a look at this? The 2016 Jaguar F-Type. So join us for them and we'll see you soon. Until then, please drive carefully, but have fun. Thank you. Bye bye.